different lyric. Okay. Blew my mind on a Tuesday morning. Only in Arizona can you get freshly made eggnog from your local dairy at your grocery store. To see how it's made. I hope it's not as gross as I'm thinking. And to celebrate National Farmers Day, we sent our own Monica Garcia down to the farm. Monica, I love that strawberry and orange milk, but how is the eggnog? Oh, it was delicious, to be honest. I usually don't drink eggnog in October, but it tastes like melted ice cream. And this is the first time I've ever heard of pumpkin spice eggnog. I'm a big coffee drinker. They also have cold brew. We'll get to that in just a second. But what I think is really fantastic is all of this is made right here in your backyard. We're in Levine. It's Dan Sizen Dairy. And I have um, Kevin, who's awake with us this morning. But but you're a farmer. You're a third generation farmer. So getting up this early, no big deal, right? Uh, we've, done, we've been doing it forever. Yeah. OK, what I think is really cool is this was your grandfather's dairy. Yeah, my grandpa moved here back in the 50s and, uh, and then uh, rented a dairy in Glendale for a while and then built a dairy that uh, we still own and operate today. Okay, and what you were talking about, because we were acknowledging that it's National Farmers uh, Day, we're celebrating, I think that's on Friday, so we're celebrating today. Uh, it was a lot different than men and women farming back in the day compared to now. Yeah, absolutely, we talked about it earlier. Like when grandpa came here and they had to work, work, work all summer long. It had to be a long, long summer. Now we have technology, fans, misters, keep the cows nice and cool. Got pedometers on every cow so we can keep track of every single step. I mean, he would think that we're probably pretty spoiled compared to what they had back then. It's like Fitbit for cows, which I think is hilarious. Okay, what are we looking at? Who came up with the pumpkin spice uh, eggnog? That You guys just came out with that this year. Yeah, this is the first year we're going to come out with it. Well, we get people wanting pumpkin spice this time of year all the time. So Basic people, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so we decided that, hey, let's make a pumpkin spice eggnog. And uh, yeah, and, and so we decided, well, we're going to do that. Might as well do the, a peppermint, too, at the same time. So people really loved our traditional eggnog, made a little twist on it, make it a little bit better. Okay, what is eggnog? Why is it so delicious? Uh, you know what? It's it's just a low-calorie uh, type uh, diet type of uh, drink for the holidays. Okay, but what I think is really cool is you it, it's, it's egg, like the ingredients, it's all from your farm. Well... We, we buy some of the ingredients, but all the milk is from our farm. We're, we're, we're a dairy farm here that's been doing this for a long time. High quality, high quality milk and, and, and glass bottles, so it makes all the difference in the world, make it taste really good. Okay, I do think it's super fancy with these glass bottles. I remember my grandmother telling me the milkman came and you would had to put the glass bottles out. So talk to me about what you have going on here. So we make all kinds of different products, uh, everything in a glass bottle. We talked about the eggnog. We make a we make a cold brew coffee. It's just coffee and, and milk and sugar. And then that we have a new new line of lemonades. We do orange juice. This is a, a regular lemonade and strawberry lemonade. These lemonades are pretty cool because the the lemons and stuff are squeezed right here. We add uh, uh, Sedona spring water to it and then. Uh, um, uh, we put it in a glass bottle. It all looks really tasty. And then you have the strawberry milk, which I'm a fan of. This is where we live right now, guys. This is our cold brew. But I think it's really uh, something special that we have pumpkin spice and you have your peppermint and then your traditional good old stuff. I tell you, but it's never too early. You want to grab a drink and cheers sure, with me? You bet. Cheers, you guys, to this literally tastes like melted ice cream. Back to you. Lucky Dan you. Zeisen, right? And we're here in Levine. Back to you. Yes. They're so mm. good. You know, I'm, I'll I'm, bring you some back. I, I'm a little... Mm, about eggnog, but yeah. Dan's eyes and everything that they do is so delicious. It's because you have to chew it a little bit. I trust there's oh, not going to be weird no. chunks of egg yolk in theirs like there is in like my family recipe.